Hey folks, Gavin Syme here. I was thinking about it today. We're running around America and we're saying, well, hey, at least we're still the greatest. At least we're still free. You know, vote for our party, vote for our guy. At least we say, at least we still have our constitutional rights. Constitutional rights that aren't actually constitutional rights at all. They're inherent, they're natural, they're God-given, affirmed by our Constitution. But what do we say? Well, hey, at least we have our gun rights. At least we have the Second Amendment. No, we don't. We don't have our Second Amendment. We don't have our rights affirmed in the Constitution. Our rights are universally ignored by our courts, except for when they decide, when our politicians, from the president to the city council, decide they will grant them to us. See, rights can't be taken away. In no state of this nation do you have your constitutional rights. You know, I just, I just came out of Texas. Down there, you have to have a permit to even open carry a gun. It's absolutely ludicrous. And here we are running around the country saying, well, at least we're still free. At least we're better than the state next door. You know what? You don't have your rights unless you have all of them. You don't have liberty unless you have all of it. None of your sheriffs are truly defendant. None of your states, none of your legislatures, they're still saying, well, I agree with your rights as long as you comply with our rules, as long as you're within the parameters, as long as you have the right permits. Folks, government does not get to touch our rights whatsoever. They don't get to define them. In fact, many of the framers didn't want to affirm our rights in the Constitution because they were afraid the government would do just this. They would decide they could define and limit our rights. That's exactly what they've done. We need defiance now. We need to stop voting for crooked politicians who say they're with us, but look, they're not defending the patriots. They're not defending the rule of law. They're not defending our rights. They're playing the game and acting like they're with us when they're not. We need to stop tolerating these criminals. We need to stop tolerating the violation of our rights and our neighbors' rights. Look at the patriots in Oregon and Nevada and all over this nation, friends that are sitting in jail like the Bundys and many others, Pete Santilli, sitting in jail, locked away for speaking out, locked away for defending the Constitution. You don't have your rights in this nation because we have let them slip. Your children and my children, they wear the shackle of a slave and it's time we stepped up. It's time we started defying their laws, disobeying their restrictions, stop getting their permits, stop tolerating their lawlessness, start disobeying, start interfering, start standing on principle and loving our neighbor. We need to repent for our sin and for our apathy and what we've let this nation become. We need to step up. We need to stop tolerating it and be defiant now, today. We're past the point of protest. We're to the point of principled defiance. Disobey their lawless laws. A law that violates our natural rights, that violates the Constitution, it's not a law. It's criminal. It's terrorism. And it should be treated as such. Stand up, America. Take it 